With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question says in the arrangement shown in the figure, pulley and strings are ideal and A and A of string connected to pulley P1 is moved upwards with acceleration 2 meter per second square while and B of the another string shown in figure is moved up with the acceleration of 1 meter per second square. Log C of mass 1 kg is moving up with acceleration uh, 1 meter per second square. If log D uh, to which strings are connected are connected symmetrically moves such that its uh, orientation remains same. Then assume G is equal to 10 meter per second square and we have to find out uh, that which option is correct. So option one is the acceleration of block D is 1 by 2 meter per second square uh, and option B is and A is pulled with force of 22 Newton. Option C is mass of block B is half kg and option D is acceleration of block B is 7 by 3 meter per second square upwards. Okay, so uh, these are the options and we have to find out which option is correct. So first what we'll do, we'll uh, try to find out the acceleration of the strings or acceleration in the strings on the both sides of the pulley. So uh, suppose uh, the acceleration of pulley A is given that is 2 meter per second square. So now what we'll do, we'll assume that uh, the acceleration uh, that on this side, let us assume that the acceleration is in uh, upward direction we are assuming this and uh, the acceleration B A1 similarly uh, in this direction we are assuming that the acceleration in the upward direction and it is A2 okay same way uh, same way we can assume that uh, the acceleration in this string let us say this uh, is A3 and in this string it is A4 and here there is no police therefore uh, the acceleration is going to be the same for the uh, whole uh, string and uh, let us also assume that the acceleration at this uh, which is this acceleration at this that is uh, already given that is AB okay and uh, the acceleration uh, of the C block which is also given to us so which is 1 okay this is AC and which is equal to 1 meter per second square. Now what we'll do we'll uh, make the free body diagram of each pulley and then we'll try to find out the relation between this uh, acceleration okay so if we talk about the pulley A okay so for for pulley A if we draw the FBD so uh, you can see that this is the pulley okay these are the string so here the acceleration is a1 here the acceleration is a2 and at this point the acceleration is uh, the one which is a that is 2 meter per second square so from uh, a relation we already know that the uh, acceleration of a is the average of both the acceleration so a1 plus a2 divided by 2 okay so from here we can uh, write that a1 plus a2 which is equal to acceleration of a is 2 so 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4 okay. so from here we got one relation now uh, similarly uh, we can draw the free body diagram for pulley e okay. suppose this is pulley a and uh, this is pulley B. We are gaming. Uh, we are naming it, and uh, this is pulley F. Okay, this one is pulley F. So for pulley E, the free body diagram is going to be look like this. Okay, so above acceleration is A1. Here the acceleration is A3. 
and here the acceleration is a so from here we can uh, simply write that 2a1 is going to be equal to a3 plus a4 so here from here we also got one relation now uh, for block b it is mentioned in the question that the orientation of the block d remains the same so for block b uh, if we draw the free body diagram so this is our block d and the acceleration it has only in the upward direction so one is a4 and on the other side it is a2 so for the same orientation the a acceleration has to be the same there uh, then only it can have the same orientation so from here we got that a4 is equal to k2 okay so and now we are uh, going to draw the free body diagram for pulley as so for pulley as uh, the free body diagram looks like this okay uh, uh, wait it's for so this is how the free body diagram of the uh, pulley f looks like okay so on the downward direction it is having an acceleration ac and here a3 and here a b okay. so from uh, again uh, using the same relation we can write uh, that the 2 ac is going to be equal to the summation of a3 plus a b so here we already know the value of ac which is 1 then a3 plus a b is also given as 1 so from here we got the value of a3 that is 1 meter per second square okay so now we can uh, use this uh, value in the equation second and from here now the equation second will look like okay so equation second will become 2a1 plus sorry 2a1 2a1 is equal to a3 that is 1 plus a4 or uh, we can also replace a4 as a2 because a4 and a4 a4 and a2 are equal so and let this equation be equation number 4 and now from equation number okay so now from equation number 1 and equation number 4 we can get the value of a1 okay so uh, from equation 1 and equation 4 from equation 1 and equation 4 we can get the value of a1 that is uh, if we uh, from equation 1 if we subtract the equation 2 okay uh, then what will happen that uh, uh, sorry if if we add the equation one from uh, equation two then what will happen that three a one uh, is equal to five so from here a one is equal to five by three meter per seconds per so we already know now we already know the value of a1 so from here we can calculate the value of a2 so by putting the value of a1 in any of the equation equation 1 suppose if you uh, use the equation 1 so from here we can get the value of a2 that that will be equal to 4 minus 5 by 3 so that is going to be equal to 7 by 3 meter per second square so a2 is nothing but the acceleration of block b and one option also uh, the option four says that the acceleration of block b is seven by three meter per second square so there therefore option d is uh, correct okay and now if uh, we have to find out the acceleration of block b so for block b okay so for block b we have to draw the free body diagram so for uh, block d okay 
if we uh, if we draw the free ball diagram we have already drawn once now again we are drawing it so here a2 and here is a4 okay so from here we can uh, say that ad is going to be equal to acceleration of 2 plus acceleration of 4 okay so which is which is going to be equal to because acceleration of 4 uh, and acceleration of 2 both are equal so therefore we can write it as 2 a2 and acceleration of for 2 we already got that is 7 by 3 so that will be equal to 14 by 3 meter per second square okay so this is the acceleration of block d uh, and in the option it is given that the acceleration of block d is 1 by 2 meter per second square so that is wrong so option 1 is not correct option 4 is correct okay now uh, it is given that in the option b that the end uh, a is fold by force 22 newton so uh, to get the value of force we have to find out the tension in the spring okay so to find out the tension in the spring uh, okay so uh, let us assume that uh, Okay, so let us assume that the tension here in this spring is T, okay, and in this string it is going to be T because the string is same, okay, and in this string it also will be the same because the string is same, okay, so this string is same, therefore the tension in the whole string is going to be the same. Similarly, we will use the relation that uh, the string at this point okay so at this point is going to be the summation of both the string so therefore at, at this point uh, the tension is going to be 2t similarly at this point okay at this point tension is going to be 2t because here it is t and t and the downward direction so at upward it is going to be uh, the uh, twice of it so that is going to be 2t so here in this the tension is going to be changed because uh, we don't know uh, because the string is uh, uh, not the same therefore the tension will be different and here the tension is going to be 2t because the same string is uh, over here okay so same string is uh, coming from the pulley here therefore the string therefore the tension will be 2t and here at uh, uh, the point A, here the tension is going to be 4T. Okay. So now we have to find out the value of tension. So for, to find out the value of tension, what we can do, we can uh, simply uh, draw the free body diagram of free body diagram of block C. Okay. So for block C, if you see, uh, that this is the block okay uh, it is having of mass 1 kg and uh, the weight is going to be 10 okay because the value of g is already given that we have to assume it to be 10 and the upward force here is 2t and the acceleration is also given acceleration of c that is 1 Okay, so now on calculating this, that 2t minus 10 is equal to 1 into acceleration of block C. So 2t is equal to 10 plus 1 into acceleration of C that is given as 1. So that will be equal to 11. So from here, the value of 2t is equal to 11 Newton. Okay and for block a the tension that we have got that is 4t okay so then 4t will be equal to 22 newton and in the option it is given that the and a is pulled out with the force therefore this option is also correct thank you
for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.